to be here today. If you don't remember who I am, my name is Monique and I'm the Kids Coordinator in Bracknell Site. Now I am super excited to be here today because we are starting a new series about Encanto. Now I am so excited because Encanto is one of my favourite films and I definitely will be thinking about all the songs that I know from Encanto. I hope you do as well. But let's just get started because it's so exciting. So today we are going to be looking at the family Madrigal. Now, this family is quite gifted. So each person has a unique and special gift. How incredible. So let's actually talk about some of these gifts that this wonderful family have. One person has the gift of making flowers. That's so cool. One person has the gift of strength. One has the gift of hearing really, really well. One person has the gift of shape-shifting and even one person has the gift of using food to heal people. Wow, that is incredible. What a range of great gifts these people have been given. But if we look more into our lives, what special gifts do we have and who has given us these incredible gifts? I'm going to quickly read through a chapter for you, and this is from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 4 to 11. There are different kinds of gifts, but they are all from the same spirit. And there are different ways that God works in people, but all have these ways of all... Of God works in us all and everything we do. Something from the Spirit can be seen in each person to help everyone. The Spirit gives one person the ability to speak with wisdom. And the same Spirit gives another the ability to speak with knowledge. The same Spirit gives faith to one person. And that one Spirit gives another gift of healing. The Spirit gives to another person the power to do miracles to another the ability to prophesy and he gives to another the ability to know the difference between good and evil spirits. The spirit gives one person the ability to speak in different kinds of languages and to another the ability to interpret those languages. One spirit, the same spirit, does all these things. The spirit decides what to give to each person. Wow, just reading that, what a lot of gifts this one God gives to people. It's really important to reflect that each and every single gift is different and unique. Not everyone has the same body, not everyone has the same gift. And it is up to us of how we serve using our special gifts that God gives us. So if we reflect back to the movie, how does Louisa use her gift of strength to help people, but also to take time for herself? How does um, one of the sisters use her gift to grow flowers? And how does she serve people? How does she bring happiness to everyone? So how are you today going to identify what special gift you have in order to serve God? And how are we going to continue that over the next series. Now what I'd love you to do is I'd love you to get an A4 piece of paper and I'd love you to draw yourself but yourself using that special gift serving God. So I will leave you here to do this incredible drawing of yourself. It was so lovely to read this story for you and to give you that extra bit of wisdom to carry on during a week. Well, guys, it's time to end this day's story. So take care. Lovely to chat to you. See you soon. Bye.